But for now, do you like sushi? Have you ever tried it? Starvin Garvin hadn't in his entire life until this week upon visiting Sakura Japanese Cafe. Now, Sakura has been serving traditional Japanese food since opening in 2009, but does it meet Garvin's incredibly high standards? Let's find out. Located on Highway 84, just off the circle, Sakura serves Japanese food using traditional Japanese cooking methods, such as hibachi grilling, tempura deep frying, and sushi. No, wait, come back, come back. A meal at Sakura will run you about eight to twelve dollars, which is not that bad, especially considering everything is made fresh right in front of you. You can walk up to the counter, see a shelf full of fish cuts that you suspect were alive that morning, and watch as the owner prepares sushi before your very eyes. Of special note is the dothan roll which is like nothing I've ever eaten before. It's chewy, it's savory, it's utterly unique in the Wiregrass area, and I highly recommend you try it out. I think the best thing here for most people is the sushi. That's what we hear the best is a lot. And the volcano and the dothan roll are our most famous ones. The dothan is a fried one with crab stick and shrimp inside, and then the volcano has crab stick salad on top, and that's what most people like here. All right, so that was pretty good. Cameron, what'd you think? Man, the steak and chicken was amazing. The beef and mushroom soup was amazing. This place is just amazing. I love it. And uh, Hannah, what do you think? The sushi was so good. I really, really liked the dragon roll. It's so good. Uh, I gotta agree with the sushi. I haven't really been a big sushi fan, but ever since coming to Sakura and trying out the uh, dothan roll and the dragon roll, I may be a believer now. We at Starvin' Garvin give Sakura Japanese food five uh, to-go boxes out of five. And before we see you again, get some food and make it good. Now, I do think it's important to know Cameron and Hannah. Cameron is our new cameraman, and Hannah is our new producer. So welcome to the team. Reportedly, Starvin' Garvin fell asleep after consuming three pounds of leftover hibachi chicken. At this time, he still has not woken up. Now, if you know of a restaurant that Starvin' Garvin needs to visit, you can call us at 793-1818 or email us at news at wdhn.com.